Whoever has this tumbler is going to feel like a queen. Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am for the first time ever going to be working with one of these gorgeous princess crown or queen crown um, tumbler toppers. These fit 20 ounce lids, 20 ounce skinny lids. And I got it at the Great American Craft Expo from MJT Custom Designs, I think is what it was. I'll make sure to put their link down in the description. But yes, that's where I got it from. They have a ton of different topper things, like a ton. So definitely go check them out. Really, really cool. And another thing I'm going to be working with is, of course, the color shop paints. But I had somebody message me and they said, hey, can you do the tape test on color shop paints? And I was like, what is a tape test? And they said... You know, spray paint the tumbler, um, put painter's tape on it, and then remove the painter's tape to see how durable the paint is. So, um, you guys might remember me talking about in past videos whenever I spray with Rust-Oleum and I put the spray paint or the, the painter's tape on and then I remove the painter's tape, the paint comes up. So, I am going to see how the color shop paints work because I really am going to need to put painter's tape down for this design. So I'm going to sand my tumbler, get it all prepped and ready, and then we'll spray paint and see how this tape test is gonna work. Okay, so I've sanded it down with this 80 grit sanding block that I get from Amazon. And I'm gonna take this really wide painter's tape. I believe maybe it is like a two inch tape, but I'm going to make a stripe in the middle and I might actually overlap and make the stripe a little bit wider than what this tape is because this is pretty wide but I don't think it's wide enough for my liking so I'm just picking a spot hopefully laying it down straight something I struggle with a lot and I'm gonna wrap it around and that actually came out pretty daggone straight and of course I'm gonna have vinyl stripes like I always do with stuff like this and I am just going to overlap just a hair, just a hair. I just want it to be a little bit wider. So I should really get my cup cradle. Cup cradle from Bama Cup so this thing doesn't roll all over the place on me. That's better. Okay. All right, that's about as straight as I'm gonna get it. So this right here is gonna be the wide spot that I'm gonna be painting a different color and then I'm gonna paint this white and this red. Um, I'm gonna leave my camera in here while I spray paint because my husband is outside cutting grass and I just don't wanna take my camera out there. <laughs> I'm surprised, I'll be surprised if you guys can't hear it. I'm probably gonna to have to edit my sound a little bit. But for the bottom portion, I'm gonna be using Speeding Ticket from Color Shot. And then the top portion is Head in the Clouds from Color Shot. So I've used the white before. I haven't used this red before. I'm really super excited to see what this looks like. Okay, so these colors turned out really nice. Um, I oversprayed a little bit of the white onto the red, but it's okay. So I'm immediately, while the paint is still wet, removing the tape. And I'm going to let this sit and dry for a few minutes while I work on other things. And then I will come back to paint this portion. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and everything is really super dry, not tacky anywhere. So I'm gonna take this same tape. Oh, I hate when that happens. But I'm gonna take the same tape and just tape off, not completely, even though it's probably gonna cover up this one just about completely. But I am going to tape off the painted area. So I can spray paint um, that stainless steel piece. So I'm going to use Rust-Oleum for this piece because the only paint that hasn't failed me <laughs> here lately is the metallic paints. So I really, really do love this metallic gold spray paint from Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to spray paint this section here and then I will come and take this tape off immediately and we'll see how it goes all right so now I'm going to remove this tape and hope that it doesn't peel the paint oh wow there's one 
did not even affect this collar shop paint whatsoever that's awesome okay so now I'm gonna let everything dry I do not have time to glitter today I have to go um, but I'm just gonna let this set overnight not necessary but like I said I don't have time um, I'm gonna let this set overnight and then tomorrow I will come back and I will um, do the glittering okay so everything is of course really super dry by now um, so what we are going to do next is I'm not going to glitter this gold section here I am going to use the holographic transparent cheetah vinyl from my website and this is what I'm going to use to cover this section now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because I am going to of course add vinyl stripes but I'm going to try to get it as good as I can here so I'm just going to mark off about where it needs to be cut so about right here it might be a little wide if so we'll trim it some more all right that doesn't look too bad actually so i'm going to trim about right there okay so now I'm going to treat this like a full vinyl wrap so I'm going to start myself an anchor cut that off right there like so and then I'm going to lay this down wrap this around to make sure it's going to look okay it looks like it might be a little bit crooked right there, but like I said, vinyl stripes, so it's okay. And I'm going to slowly work this around. I'm just like pushing right here to get that backing to slide off. So I can get it all the way around. And now I'm going to go with my X-Acto knife and clean this up because I do not want this to be on the red portion. I don't want it to overlap that much. I know I said I didn't care about it being perfect, but I don't want it to overlap that much. So I am just trimming this really quickly. It's definitely not going to be a straight line, <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, so now it's time to glitter. For the white section here, I'm gonna be using Marilyn from the Glitter Grind, and for the red section, I'm using Dr. Love. That like matches almost perfectly. It's gonna look really, really good. I'm gonna start with the darkest color first, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom done here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge to the top here and add that really pretty Maryland glitter. So now the only thing left to do today is to seal everything with matte Rust-Oleum clear enamel and then I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add two coats of epoxy and I will come back for the decals. Okay so the tumbler itself needs one more coat of epoxy. It is a little rough and I don't want to put a decal down even if it's just the tiniest bit rough because you'll see little bumps through the decal. So what we're going to go ahead and move forward with now is applying the princess or queen's crown to the tumbler lid what i'm going to do is just very very lightly sand this right here because this is so glossy so smooth i just want to give it a little bit of texture so the liquid fusion which is what i'm going to use to apply it will have something to grip onto and i feel like it'll be a lot more sturdy so this is just my 80 grit sanding block that i always use i'm going to sand just the rim very lightly 
now it's roughed up it feels not as pretty and perfect and smooth so this is liquid fusion it's what I use to apply rhinestones to tumblers so I know that this is extremely durable and it's really going to hold this on perfectly so I'm just going to apply this liquid liquid fusion around where I sanded right here apply the crown on top and let it set overnight you know roughly 24 hours or so and it'll be nice and snug y'all so after two coats of epoxy it is nice and smooth and also this is on really really good it's not going anywhere so we're going to go ahead and add some decals this is obviously a cue it's i didn't get the image anywhere i just got on my silhouette studio and the font was called century it doesn't look exactly like the actual queen of hearts font um, but it was really close and then a little heart so what I'm going to do first is add the Q, and this is cherry red um, permanent vinyl from my website. And I'm going to lay down my cup cradle from Bama Cups, and I'm just picking a spot that looks good on the cup. I'm going to add this Q kind of high up. Because I want to have room for that heart. So there's the cue, and now to just add the heart right underneath of that cue. Maybe like to the side a little bit here. So there we go, cute little queen of hearts. And now I have black permanent vinyl that I cut into strips. These are one point or no I'm sorry 0 0.15 tall and 10.5 wide and I'm just outlining the gold here to kind of separate it and make it look a little cleaner There we go. So now the only thing left to do is to add the final two coats of epoxy and it'll be done. Here it is. Add the lid. I love this so much. This is very different. I love it so, so much. I am obsessed with these. Now, this is a 20 ounce skinny, like I mentioned. Because of this, of course, you're going to want to get like a 30 ounce straw, baby. Um, maybe even a 35 ounce straw depending on how much you want it to come up over this crown obviously because you know a 20 ounce you're not going to be able to get in there and, and take a sip of your drink but I'm obsessed with this I think this is so daggone cute I've never used a crown before and I love it pretty sure I'm going to go buy some more because they have these and then they have the gold ones too before I go I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is Remind yourself that you cannot fail at being yourself. That one does not have an author. That is all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun making this. And it's like, it's one of those that I want to keep really, really bad. But I will be putting it on my website as well as several others that are going to be relatively new that I'm going to be putting on my website. So I hope you guys go over there and check that out. As always, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!